square triangles are used in many traditional quilt patterns, such as this Algonquin Charm quilt block. The most obvious way to make this unit is to take two triangles and sew them together. Today I'm going to share some tricks to make the cutting and the stitching easier and explain when it is a good idea to use this method. The width of fabric strips you'll need will be determined by the quilting ruler that you are using. On my ruler, I can see that because I want two and a half inch finish size units, I cut three and a quarter inch strips. Your ruler should come with instructions or ask for help at a local quilt shop. Lay your two strips of fabrics right side together and align your ruler with the edge of the strips. Cut carefully, making sure the ruler doesn't shift. Rotate the ruler to cut the perpendicular line. Your two triangles will already be together and ready to stitch with the quarter inch seam along the diagonal line. Once the stitching is done, carefully open with the seam pressed to the dark side, finger press, and then press with an iron. The finished piece should be just the right size. I want my finished unit to be two and a half inches. That means with seam allowance, this square should be three inches. You might want to snip off the dog ears. So what's good about this method of making half square triangles? It is excellent for scrappy quilts when you're cutting from lots of odd sizes of fabric scraps. It is quick to sew. Just use your regular quarter inch seam allowance. It doesn't require you to do any marking. If your cutting and stitching is accurate, it doesn't require any trimming or squaring up. What's not so good with this method? You are sewing seams on a bias, so you do need to be careful with that. Cutting is time consuming and can be tricky until you get the hang of it. So when should you use this method? It's really good for scrappy quilts or any time when you're using a lot of different fabrics. If you're working carefully and precisely, this method is easy and does save time. I give this method a rating of four out of five thimbles. For more quilt tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, check out ebitastudio.com.